viewers all over the world wherever you're watching ACM Fire TV you're in Cameroon you pray about this prophecy and like I want one last Sunday while giving the prophecy some prophecy the other day do everything not to speak ill against prophecy it will draw calamity yes there are people who can speak against who can speak concerning a prophet that's when you've been given authority you've been given an authority if you speak like for now example the governor can speak concerning the SDO but the SDO cannot speak concerning the governor so I'm saying this because there are people who receive who hear prophecies, receive prophecies, and they begin to make noise, blah 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 blah. You see, somebody who just come online uh, comment fake prophet. You don't know that thing he has just written fake prophet like this. He has just wiped his account for that year. The Bible says, "Who are you to be a judge to another man's word? Servant." Another man said, but me that another man could even be the devil. Who are you? So when you receive prophecy or you hear prophecy, even when you don't understand, keep quiet or ignore it. But the wise thing is every time you hear a prophecy, pray about it. And when you pray about that prophecy, the Holy Spirit will give you greater insight about that prophecy for a man to prophesy does not mean that he has said everything he has just given but a summary when you pray God will give you a full detail of what he was communicating through that prophet a lot of people are the reason why they are suffering one of the things about the ministry of a prophet is that if you dare a prophet you can, one of the greatest challenges you have is money problem because the realm, the, the custodians of the realm of wealth in the spirit are prophets. So you can have good health, you can have other things, maybe, but money will not stand in your hands. Believe in the Lord, you'll be established. Believe in what? He's prophet and you will prosper. So the realm of wealth is controlled by the prophetic. So some people are in deep poverty because they touch the ministry of a prophet somewhere. And maybe they did it unconsciously. Maybe just came online. Huh. Fake prophet. Lalai prophet. Or maybe man, one prophet will prophesy somewhere and say, Ah, these Lalai people. That these Lalai people like that, he has lost his account for that year. That's why we need the spirit, the fruit of self control. Whatever you don't understand, whatever you don't agree with, please, instead of complicating your life, huh, ignore it. Ignore it. Amen. The prophet may not talk. He may not even know. I know people who have reached me to, to plead for mercy from countries that I did not even know. One woman reached me two years. She, she did something, I think, five years ago. Or three, four, five years ago. And I had forgotten. I said, okay online she reached me i think that is five months ago to beg for mercy you have not been easy with her and i don't even know her again in a whatsapp group in a whatsapp group so the mantle of a prophet can be working against the people who have offended that prophet without the prophet knowing because the mantle carry a realm of justice and judgment that's why even some pastor's wife are being destroyed by the mantle of the same pastor <laughs> you're not getting what i'm saying like russia no i will not know that is abraham mantle uh, sorry jacob mantle that key russia now some of you know that is jacob that kid uh, russia when she stole the god of labor and he hid and sat on it. Jacob made and they began to accuse Jacob. Jacob made a statement. Say, who, 
Whosoever you find it with, let the person die. And she thought they are not seeing spirit physically, but in the spirit, the angels that are custodians of that mantle, they are keeping record. She died as just at the verge of them entering that promise land. God promised Abraham. They died there. She died there. And she died in pains. And that's why he gave the name of the child Benoni. Huh? Because she, she, she went through serious pains before dying. And that's the consequence of crossing the lane of a prophet. So I'm saying this because I want to give this prophecy about Cameroon. So people think that when we give a negative prophecy, it don't come to pass, it makes us false. We don't give negative prophecy with the expectation that it comes to pass. It's wickedness. We give negative prophecy and then we pray and then it does not come to pass. So instead, if negative prophecy does not come to pass, then instead celebrate the prophet. Somebody, you know what I'm saying? There was a serious issue. I gave a prophecy about Nigeria. A serious issue about Nigeria around 17 of March. And another prophet, uh, Apostle Joseph Selman, also talked about that same thing, that same day. I remember when we gave the prophecy, their intercessors, we ourselves, we prayed, and all of us, they were praying, Nigeria prayed. And then it did not, uh, then thank God, God adverted it. And then people who came now, some came now, will write it. Do you not say that Nigeria will have this year on the 17th? So, so I don't know. See, see, they have blocked some of the minds of the people. Human beings are very complex. So we should be expecting bad things to happen. Instead, when negative prophecy does not come to pass, it's a good thing that the the the, 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 the mission of the prophecy are accomplished because prophecy is to revelation is to redeem that which is revealed. It is the same error that this guy got angry, Jonah. Huh? You know, brother Jonah now. Huh? Jonah, Nineveh, get ready, you are, you finish. And when Nineveh turned towards the Lord and the prophecy was averted, this guy got angry. Jonah, why did the prophecy not come to pass? He was expecting, neg- God does not give negative prophecy, expecting that it come to pass. He gives it point to what is coming so that we can pray and intervene. And people don't even know. Anyways, they are ignorance. Amen. And uh, this prophecy, this is concerns Cameroon. I saw something this afternoon. I had an angelic visitation. I saw 20 May, but this one was in Douala now. I saw Douala. And I saw military, heavily militarized, and people were running somehow in Douala. I remember in that, in that, in that, in that uh, prophetic vision, that prophetic encounter, the spirit, in the spirit, I was in Douala, and I was there. At, I ran and forgot where my car was parked. Yeah. And people were running military with guns. I remember when that ancient road Douala, around opposite that, there's a place called Santa Lucia. Huh? I remember we were around that place like that. And it was showing that it was this thing, Amen. 20th May. So we don't, I don't really know what Satan is up to concerning Douala, but that's what I saw. But we pray. Please, as you go, church, Amen, pray about it. You know, like I said last time, there's a transition. But there can be a transition without without agitation. Amen. So we pray that God will we pray that God will intervene in Jesus' name. So those in Dwala anoint yourself. You are here in Boya. Join us. At SCM directly behind Echo Bank Moliko on Thursday, 5 p.m. One of the things we do will be interceding for Cameroon. Amen. Hallelujah. I remember it's also fasting day. Amen, church. So join us. Let us pray in Jesus' name. It's a prophetic night, too.